You gonna be in my video today? <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Mommy Eating Well, where we talk about everything low carb. Also, I am on a journey to losing 100 pounds. I am postpartum. I started at 310 pounds. And today we're gonna to talk about my newest weigh-in. So if you wanna know about my weigh-ins, what were my struggles, all the juice, then stay tuned. All right, so let's hop into it. So first things first, let's go ahead and get it out the way. Uh, let's go ahead and do the weigh-in. Um, baby girl wanted to be in the video today. <laughs> so um, guys, I yeah, so she's gonna be in the video. Hopefully she doesn't make a whole bunch of noise. But um, yeah, so let's go ahead and start off with the weigh-in. So come on over here to the bathroom and let's go ahead and weigh in. You know, last month I weighed 253. So let's hop on the scale and see what I weigh today. This is what happens when you don't quit. All right, so five pounds down, guys. Y'all, that is a win, five pounds, yes. So um, if you go back to my old videos, you'll see that, um, so my journey from, I went from keto to low carb, and this month was a special month for me because I am no longer on keto, and I wanted to see how I would thrive on a, a keto-free diet. And so I consider myself still low carb, and so I ventured out and tried some new things this month, and guys, it was a roller coaster. It was extremely difficult. I was used to um, doing things a certain way and then um, just switching it up, learning how to eat the new items that I wanted to um, include in my meals. Hop into it. So things I tried this month. Guys, I didn't go really crazy. Um, I tried like bananas. <laughs> so I did chia seed pudding. Oh guys, chia, chia seed pudding is a game changer. I have it every day for breakfast. It's just easy on the budget. And then I add bananas. That has been super helpful. And I will add like a boiled egg to help with protein. So that's been really good. Um, I also tried um, low carb tortillas. I've seen a lot of Instagrammers using that and um, that was a no-go for me. Um, after eating it, I felt a little funny. I also gained inflammation in my hands. I don't know what that's all about. I don't know if that has to do with um, gluten or what, but I'll get like inflammation if I have um, different starches. So that's a no-go. I also tried black beans, really enjoyed that. I had this um, fish with black beans, some, and then I made like a pineapple salsa using pineapples, red onions, and cilantro i'll insert a picture here so yeah so i tried all those things there was a few other things that i tried but that was generally the flow of what i was trying and guys it was so delicious i really enjoyed all those things and then um my only problem was and so i'm going to start getting to my struggles were um portion control oh my goodness it was a struggle with portion control um, just, you know, eating the right portions um, is still a challenge for me as far as for those items. So this month, I really want to work on that. Um, I also I had struggled with emotional eating. I had a lot of different stressors this month. I was emotional eating. Um, I just had a few different stressors um, in my life for this month. And so my regular toolbox wasn't working. And so I had to adapt. So one of, for example, one of my stressors was my change in schedule. Uh, with the change in schedule, I could have been better prepared um, with better snacks. Um, so then I'm not eating different, um, you know, foods there at the cafeteria and stuff. Um, and then what else happened? Uh, we're in the process of uh, making a big move. Um, I'll tell you more about that when it's more concrete. But for now, it's going to be kind of a secret. But don't worry, I'll tell y'all as things um, are committed and serious. So I'll tell you more about that later. But anyway, moving on. <laughs> also, one of my other struggles is I had a drop in my milk supply. And um, I know that y'all are like, oh, keto messes with your milk supply. But actually, my milk supply was just fine when I was doing keto. But I don't know, in the last few weeks, my milk supply has dropped. I don't know if it's because of my diet. But I definitely think it has to do with my water intake. I've been slacking on my water and my vitamins. And I think that mostly has something to do with it. And also, baby girl, she started solids. 
so she's not um drinking like i don't know the schedule is just weird and then it's kind of hard to stay on track at work so that was kind of hard and that was another stressor for me um uh, with the dropping milk supply but that's okay i'm still making some milk and supplementing with formula which is working out pretty good i'm so glad there is some type of supplement available so but anyway so that's that what else happened um yeah and then um i had started tracking my macros but with all the different stressors that were happening and then on top of trying to track macros i failed to do that so that was really hard the wins are i still was able to lose five pounds i'm really excited about that my goal is for the next few months all the way into december is to lose five pounds because i do want to veer away from the keto i still love a lot of the keto foods but also love um this low carb situation i just have to get my um portion controls under control and then learn how to um deal with the different stressors the new rhythms it's more of rhythms new rhythms um, you know how you go through new rhythms and I'm pretty sure y'all are also going through new rhythms if you have children and stuff starting back school I don't know some of y'all may even be starting back work and having a new a new normal with um, you know with all that has happened a lot of us that have new normals and we're just adjusting and I'm doing the same thing and so I want to continue to have these bananas and these different um, foods that I'm adding and I still want to keep my net carb around 61 I think that's a good place for me and so it's just gonna take time for me to adapt so yeah so I'm recognizing that, you know, there's a few things that I struggle in, but I do have a toolbox of different um, things that I do in order to be successful in this journey. Um, and so, so far I'm 62 pounds down since um, February. That's when I had baby girl. And that is a big deal. I, I, I'm just so proud of what I've accomplished so far. So anyways, um, let's see here. I wanted to also talk about Oh, goals for next month, guys. So goals for next month. So um, I bought resistant bands. I'm really excited to use them. But guys, uh, the thought of working out is just mind draining. So, so I did attempt to work out one time this month. It was a one time month situation. I only worked out once. Um, at work, I averaged about 5,000 steps. And then... Um, last Friday, I did 15,000 steps at work. They had me in a different role. In that role, you're just like running. And so I think with that being said, um, that also affects how much you want to eat and portion control and all that different things because your body is going to get what it wants. And so it's a matter of you, um, you know, supplying it with the nutrition that it needs. So... I do want to try to um, do the resistance band and then I'm going to go back to only counting net carbs this month. So I'm going to try that out um, and see how that goes for me. But overall, um, I still need to increase my uh, water intake. I'm trying to do two. As soon as I get out, drink two before I go to work and then drink another two during the daytime. And then I need to drink another two in the afternoon. That's where I struggled in the afternoons. And then I need to do two before I go to bed. And so hopefully that will help with my milk supply. If not, then it is what it is. Um, I'm not pressed. But y'all, the biggest thing about this channel, I try to keep it real. I keep it honest. I let you know what's happening. Um, because, you know, y'all might be going through some different things. And I like to hear, you know, kind of what has been your journey and different, um, you know, trials and tribulations that you've had also. Um, but there was also wins this month too. So yeah, guys, so that's pretty much the wrap up. Um, and I thank y'all so much for watching my videos and we'll see what happens for this next month. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.